Hey, welcome back to the channel, James Rule XRP. You can follow me on Twitter at Rule XRP. I am not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. And if my voice sounds a little off this week, that is because my sinuses are going crazy this week. Being in Southeast Texas, everything is blooming, everything is pollinating, and I am suffering the consequences. So bear with me. Uh, what I'm going to start doing in my YouTube videos is I am going to start leaving links to the subjects that I cover down in the description so that you can actually click on it and study it yourself. All right, let's get started. Crypto Eddie on YouTube. You need to follow her. Crypto E-R-I. It's pronounced Eddie is on YouTube and she covers information pertaining to Ripple XRP, uh, the cryptocurrency community, and she covers it in detail. And she brought up a subject this morning in this video. And I have a question I, and I want you to leave it in the comments below. When you pay your bills every month, do you still use checks? Do you pay your bills with checks? Do you pay your bills with credit cards? Or do you use your bank as bill pay? Do all of your payments go through your bank? And if you would, like I said, leave, it, leave a comment in the description below and let me know. I started my channel April 3rd of this year, only a few months ago. And I'm really excited to be a part of this cryptocurrency space. I'm just going to cover this briefly. And in the last 28 days, I have received 1,005 subscribers. And I'm very excited about this, not only because I'm able to share this information with the community, but this is showing me that there are many new people in the cryptocurrency space that are wanting to know more about cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency is growing. I've been investing for around three years and here in the last month, I've received a ton of questions on Twitter. I've received questions on my YouTube videos and it's really exciting to know that there are more and more people every day getting into cryptocurrency. Now, when I, show these or create these videos, I'm not only educating the public, I'm educating myself when I go over these articles and topics over, over and over again. And it's very exciting to be a part of that. I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so like the video and I will be releasing more videos, not only pertaining to XRP, but to many other cryptocurrencies and a little bit of FYI's, uh, you know, the daily news. And um, I'm just really excited to be a part of this. Okay, if you go to gocoinlive.com or coingolive.com, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You could look at a list of the cryptocurrencies and when they hit their all-time highs. If you were around and if you own cryptocurrency at the end of 2017, in the beginning of 2018, you experienced the massive bull run that cryptocurrency had at that time. And I'm going to just kind of briefly relay a few of these prices of where they went to and where they are today. Let's start with Bitcoin. The current price of Bitcoin is $9,083.18. It reached an all-time high of $19,665 on December 16, 2017. Ethereum is currently at $232.11. It reached an all-time high of $1,448.18 on January 13th, 2018. XRP is currently at 19 cents. It reached an all-time high of $3.40 on January 7th of 2018. The reason I bring this up, are you prepared for the next bull run? Have you purchased cryptocurrency? And if you have, are you ready for the next bull run? 
Now, I'm not a financial advisor and I can't specify. I have no idea when and if there will be another bull run. I'm hoping there's just a gradual increase as cryptocurrency is adopted in the world and we climb just as the Amazon stocks, the Apple stocks did, and I hope it is a gradual gain. But if you do, or if there is another bull run, do you have an exit strategy? Now, I have an account with iTrust Capital. This is an option. This is a company that allows you to have an IRA, a traditional or Roth IRA, and you can purchase cryptocurrency and you can purchase physical gold, gold within this IRA. And as the prices increase, you can go in, sell the cryptocurrency for cash, exchange the cryptocurrency for gold, exchange gold for cryptocurrency, and you are going to benefit tax-wise because you're not going to be taxed on this. Now, I took one of my smaller 401ks previously and rolled it into an iTrust Capital IRA. And I can go in and take that physical cash and purchase cryptocurrency with that. So this is something you may look into I'm in it and I believe in it and it is a great way to eliminate some of the tax issues that are going to happen in the cryptocurrency space. There is a link below for that. If you have cryptocurrency here in the last couple of days, you've seen a lot of Twitter hacks. You've seen a lot of YouTube uh, spam advertisements trying to get people to send them cryptocurrency to double their amount. Folks, there is never free cryptocurrency. There is never going to be a time when you can send someone cryptocurrency and immediately double your gains back. So if you have a substantial amount of cryptocurrency, I suggest that you purchase a cold hardware wallet and back up your assets. Okay, we were speaking of exit strategy and here a few months ago, I'm not going to go over this, but if you want, you could pause the video and examine this document that I typed up and this is a mock document this is not facts and figures based on my investments this is just an example and this is an exit strategy some of you that are day traders and stocks and day traders that like to take profits quickly may be interested in this the only exit strategy I have at this time is to go in when XRP which is my top crypto pick gets to a certain price I'm going to re take the return on investment that I've made for the last three years and I'm going to sit on the rest and this exit strategy basically shows you that as the price increases in XRP and this is just one cryptocurrency there are many cryptocurrencies out there that the return on investment should be taken out first and then as the price increases you could take small pieces out as the prices go up or you can leave it all in there. You know, here soon we may be a cashless society. And if that happens, if cryptocurrency is the norm, you may be wise just leaving everything there. So take a screenshot, pause the video if you'd like to look at these facts and figures. And this is just an example. As I said before, I'm not a financial advisor. I like researching the crypto space. I love researching this and I love sharing information. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. It's going to be a great day. You need to be safe. You need to take care of yourself and do your own research extensively if you're just now getting into the cryptocurrency space. My name is James Rule XRP, Twitter at Rule XRP. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.